Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, back in my rightful chair. <laughs> the Victor chair. The real <laughs> CGB chair. And I'm here with my friends, Ben, Blake, and Shay, and we're going to play some more of the Worst Possible Commander here on the channel. It's exciting. Today's episode is brought to you, as they all have been so far, by CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code CGB5 gets you a discount at CoolStuffInc.com and shows them that you watch and enjoy the show. Also, the winner of the game will choose their favorite comment from the comment section to get a $50 Cool Stuff Inc. gift code. So make sure that you stay till the end, see who wins, and try to, I don't know, what's the right way to put it, butter their bread with a nice comment <laughs> right at the end. Yeah, um, anyway, so we've all gotten to choose some of these by now, and uh, yeah, there's always there's always that one comment. It just pierces the soul. You know there's what I mean? There's been some good ones. It sings to your heartstrings. For me, it's usually something along the lines of handsome and good looking, but <laughs> uh, other people might have Same different taste. Here. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'm excited to play with you guys. The version that we have of Rule Zero Conversation is we tell each other about our decks, and we talk about the worst possible thing that our deck can do so that the table can be prepared for it and possibly stop it, if possible, to prevent those feels bads of, I don't even know what happened and I got combo killed. So, in that spirit, I'm going to go first. I'm playing Archangel Avacyn today. Archangel Avacyn is not the Avacyn most people expect. When you say Avacyn in Commander, they think 8-8, indestructible everything. And this is a card from Shadows Over Innistrad. Archangel Avacyn is a 4-4 flying, flash, vigilance, legendary angel. When she enters the battlefield, creatures I control gain indestructible until the end of turn. When a non-angel creature I control dies, I transform Archangel Avacyn at the beginning of the next upkeep. Which is, uh, there's a lot weird going on with this card. The backside is red. Hmm. The Google machine says this is technically a Boros commander, so we're playing Boros today. Hmm. And on the back side is a 6-5 flyer, and when this creature transforms into Avacyn the Purifier, it deals three damage to each other creature and each opponent. So, it's a crafty, sneaky sweeper on a stick that I was... <laughs> uh, and now I'm looking around, and like, honestly, I had like Shay's kind of cabaret tendencies in mind. Mm -hmm. Shay's little Naya cat stuff in mind. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're swerving me a bit this week, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yes. Um, but the thing that my deck tries to do, I, I couldn't find an Archangel Avacyn deck anywhere, so I built my own. And the thing that I most like doing with this card is Basilisk Collar. Mm. So this is an equipment that gives equipped creature death touch and lifelink. If I can flip Archangel Avacyn with the yeah. Basilisk Collar, then all every other creature dies because of the death touch. And I gain three life for every player and every creature on the board. I have gained <sighs> I have gained over 60 life per mm. shot, and I've also been able to do this multiple times per game in some of the games that I've played. Now that's not actually the worst possible thing that I can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> I, I feel a need to tell you about this. It's definitely not something I like tutor up or do very often. I think I've only done it once ever playing this deck. But both cards were cards I wanted to run anyway. So I have Heliod Suncrown mm. and I have Walking Ballista in the mm. deck. And the way that these cards can work is Heliod Suncrown for one in a white can give lifelink to target creature. And Walking Ballista says that it has a plus one. It's like whenever, no, Heliod Suncrown. Whenever it you gain life, you put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And Heliod can give a creature lifelink. So if you give lifelink to Walking Ballista, you can remove a counter and deal a damage, and then you can use Heliod to put another counter on it and remove the counter and deal a damage, and etc. And until I've just killed everything. So that's um, that's a combo that goes it for as long combo. as there is a target. So you guys should remove one of these when you see them uh, if you don't want to get comboed, just to be honest. Yeah. And otherwise, um, watch out for Basilisk, Collar Shenanigans, and Flipping Angels. It's really fun. That's me. Ben, what are you playing this week? What have you got? Well, I'm bringing uh, one that didn't uh, present itself very much last time I played it. It's Obeka Krut Br Chronologist. I think I had trouble pronouncing that last time. <laughs> um, she is an or ogre wizard, a 3-4, and I tap her, and it says, the player whose turn it is may end the turn. 
And uh, so I mainly do that on my turn, unless someone wants on their turn for some reason. Um, but I got my worst possible is Isochron Scepter. I can imprint a card of uh, instant or sorcery, cost two or less, or no, just instant. I'm sorry. Um, just instant under two or less mana value. And I can imprint it under it. For two and a tap, the Isochron Scepter, I can copy the exiled card without paying its mana cost. And the one I was thinking of doing that with is Final Fortune. Uh, take an extra turn after this one. At the end of that turn, you lose a game. So I can do infinite turns, essentially. If I have Obeka out, I can end the tur every turn early so that I never lose. And then I also have Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, who taps to create a token of target non-legendary creature, except it as haste, and I exile it at the end step. And with that combination, I have Zealous Conscripts, who's a 3-3 and has haste. And when... He enters the battlefield, or she, I guess. Uh, gain <laughs> control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap that permanent, so I'd target Kiki Jiki with that, and it gains haste until end of turn. So I just keep copying the Zealous Conscripts to untap the Kiki Jiki, so I'd have infinite two or three threes. With haste. With haste. Which Seems good to me. Attacks and kills everybody. Pretty much, yeah. Do you see the Pandora's box you freaking opened? I regret everything. <laughs> you you, you thopter sorted us uh, a few weeks back, and yeah. now everything's going to be a combo. So what? I'm uh, paying for it, Blake. What what infinite combo are you playing today? I am playing infinite uh, nothing. I'm playing Tessa Karlov. This is a four mana two four. If a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control the trigger, that ability triggers an additional time, and creature tokens I control have vigilance and lifelink. So my deck is a traditional aristocrats deck where I'm going to be making creatures and token creatures, sacrificing them, draining people for life, being very annoying. And the worst possible thing I can do is cast a Rise of the Dark Realms, which after I believe CGB has wiped the board many, many times with his annoying combo, I shall take all of them back. So what Rise of the Dark Realms does is it's a set nine mana sorcery that takes all creature cards from all graveyards, puts them on the battlefield under my control. I can't wait for you to find a way to take the Ballista, the Heliod, the Zealous Conscripts, and the Kiki G. <laughs> I just do like three infinite combos at once. I look forward to it as well. All right, Shay, what have you brought today? Looks like a spicy one. Uh, yeah, today I have Runo Strongkirk. Uh, so this is a Demir Sea Creatures themed deck. Um, so Runo is a vampire cleric, a 1-4 with flying. When Runo Stromkirk enters the battlefield, put up to one target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card. If a creature card with mana value 6 or greater is revealed this way, transform Runo Stromkirk. And what does he transform into? But a Kraken Horror, Krothus, Lord of the Deep. So this is a 3-5 flyer. When Krothus, Lord of the Deep, attacks, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of another target attacking creature. If that creature is a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent, create two of those tokens instead. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I think I've read that card ten times and still don't know what it does, so I can't wait to <laughs> see it. Yeah. I can't wait lot. to see. It is a lot. Um, but yeah, as far as my worst possible, um, yeah, to start off, we've got Dark Depths um, comes into play with 10 ice counters on it. I can pay three to remove an ice counter, um, but when it has no ice counters, sacrifice it. If you do, put an indestructible legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying named Merit Lage into play. Um, so to speed that process along, um, as far as removing those counters, uh, I've got Thespian Stage, um, which would allow me to copy Dark Deaths, and then when it enters, it wouldn't have the counters on it, and then I can sacrifice it and um, get the 2020. Also, I've got Vampire Hex Mage, also allows me to remove um, counters from target permanent. And then what I would like to do, as far as my worst possible, is transform this, get the 2020 flyer, and then uh, potentially copy it in an attack with Krothus, Lord of the Deep. In order to do that, though, since it is legendary, I will need a mirror box or something that allows me to um, uh, not apply the legendary rule um, to permanence I control. And then again, if we're going worse possible, if I can give it haste, all of that can happen um, very quickly. So yeah. I would love to see all that happen. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> not gonna lie. That's gonna be interesting. That yes. is classic. All right. Yeah. 
All right, guys, that's our worst possible. Let's uh, shuffle up, roll the dice, see who goes first, and play the games. Blake, you won the die roll. Get in there. <laughs> All right, I will start by drawing a card, and I will play a tap Godless Shrine and pass. Okay. I'll play Polluted Delta, pay life and sacrifice to go grab an island or swamp card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle, and then after that I'm going to pass. All right. I guess I'm going to join the club and sack this Arid Mesa Aww. and go get something and pass. Do you have a fetch land? Okay. Well, maybe. No, uh. you're you're gonna actually love this, oh. like, um, because of a time crunch today doing a reveal for Wizards of the Coast. Ha ha. Ha ha. Flex. Um, I actually didn't get time to put my dual lands in my deck, so I'm <laughs> fetching a tap Sacred Foundry. Woo! And I grabbed a Sunken Hollow. <laughs> I drew and I'll play a Swamp. Ooh, that's a Yikers. All right, I will play a Command Tower and pass the turn. Couldn't hear you over the sound of my beaver shuffle. It was a yikers of a draw. <laughs> Island and pass. I'll play planes. I'm done. Oh, okay. Wow. I will play a mountain in pass. No signets. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> play Caves of Coleos and pass. Who's going to play a spell? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who will be first? It shall be me. You oh, shall man. get the target then. I am going to pay three for a Rhystic Study. Oh, I can you got the target. I can destroy that. So just try not to let her draw a bunch of cards before it gets back to me. I'm probably just going to let her draw a lot of cards because I am, you know, I'm not jealous. Because you draw a lot of cards? Yeah, I'm not jealous <laughs> like you. Then I'll pass. All right, I'm going to play Temple of Triumph and I'm going to scry. Oh, man. I know. Impressive, I'm sure. And we'll go with the bottom and I'm done. I will draw for turn. I'm not going to, you know, you don't get to draw any cards off your study if I don't cast any spells. Yeah. Five heads. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of heads. I'm going to play an island. I'm going to tap three and play Vile Smasher the Fierce. And I will not pay the one. Ben. What? It's always the same God. two people who never pay for the I, stinking I rustic can't. study. I can't. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Could just, Calm down. Could just not, you know. You want him to pay the one just not cast it. I like Shay having cards. It's better than you two having cards. Well, that's very rude. Not wrong. <laughs> not yeah, wrong. It's very rude. You that's... know what? I got, I got something to respond okay, with. Can that. I read my files? <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, whenever you cast your first spell each turn, choose an opponent at random. Vile Smasher the Fierce, fierce deals damage equal to the, that spell's converted mana cost to that player or a planeswalker that player controls. He's a two-three. Uh, my turn. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything to disrupt you, oh, okay. my buddy. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I will cast Vindicate on Ristic Study, destroy target permanent, pay one for the Ristic Study. Okay. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Another Ristic wasn't... Study. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, here's what we'll start with. Was this like a Mystic Remora or something? It's a Mystic Remora. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Nice. <laughs> and then I'll also pay two for a thing in the ice. So it enters with four counters on it. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, remove an ice counter from the thing in the ice. Um, if it has no ice counters on it, transform it. Um, otherwise, it's a defender, zero four. Um, and then I'll pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Since everybody's into taxes today, I guess, Boy. let's go with a Smothering Tithe as my <laughs> first play so of the game. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. You get a, oh, yes, I, right. I'm not paying for it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Blake, you're getting so mad. <sighs> I don't know if I can keep doing the show if these are the kind of cards we're playing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I un oh, I, mm, that's how I feel about sacrifice. <laughs> ben, it's your turn. Yeah. That's a nice card. I just drew. oh, uh, smothering tithe then. Mm -hmm. Um, did you like? I paid pay? two. Yeah, it's two. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Ah, yeah. Make a treasure. A lovely treasure. Uh, how many cards in people's hands? Just, just six. You know, just I like six. counting. Seven. Six for okay. winning windfall. Six. six. I'm gonna tap three. Play at Jessica's will for the mana. Oh. Okay. Which is seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, six. Who had seven? 
Oh, I thought you had seven. I had six. Oh, six. well then six. I held six. six. I kept saying six. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I thought I saw seven fingers. I guess I can't count. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would you uh, like to pay, pay the one for the four? Or four? For no, six? I will not pay the four. <laughs> okay. With my six that I just made with <laughs> three mana. Technically, it's before you even make that. Um, okay. um, so I have six. Oh, yes. Three yeah. damage at random. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, Shay, take three. I'll play a Rogue's Passage for turn. Seven mana, do what? Yeah, what are you doing, bud? I, I, I assume you, you had a plan. <laughs> okay. He's like, all right, pass. I'll use one Rogue's Passage and five, four, so I have two red floating. For a Gilded Lotus, which taps for three of any one color. I will right. use... Uh, Mystic Remora Trigger. You may four. have it. Cool. Thanks. Um, I will use two and three more of any color. It doesn't matter, because that was red. And I will play a Brash Taunter. It has Indestructible. It's a 1-1. One, one. And when Brash Taunter is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. For a red and two and tap, he fights another target creature. Mm. And then I will be done. Time up, keep draw. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I have a treasure? Blake? Buddy? No shot. <laughs> no, no shot. No shot. Mm. Play an exotic orchard and now play a creature. Athreos, God of Passage. This is a 5 4 indestructible legendary enchantment creature god. As long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, Athreos isn't a creature. When another creature you own dies, return it to your hand unless target opponent pays three life. Go ahead, Shay. Oh, also, you didn't pay for the smothering tithe. Uh, how many cards did you draw? Oh, right. Oh, right. Right. I'm One, two. two. Three cards, I think. So, right. yeah, well, three treasure. And now you have your draw step. Would you like to pay two? Um, no thanks. Cool. I'm just going to stockpile these to pay the four. Please. Yeah, there you, go. there you go. I like that. That's I respect the, that. That's the mission here. That's a power <laughs> move. Uh, we'll play Shipwreck Marsh, which is not does not enter tapped. We will pay one black for Entomb. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. You get a thing in the ice. Tick down trigger. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Down to three. All right, so I grabbed Spawning Kraken, and it's in my graveyard. <coughs> Tomb will also go to graveyard. Uh, okay, then I'm going to pay one, two, three to cast my commander, Runo Stromkirk. When he enters the battlefield, put up to one target creature card from your graveyard to the top of your library. Wait, you can draw that with Mystic Remora. Yes. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is it won't. It doesn't flip. Uh, yeah, it won't transform, but I'll still <laughs> draw it. That's well, funny. I don't know. Maybe I'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> True. But we know one person who won't. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, then I'm going to pass. Am I really going to do this? Oh, boy. Mm. Hey, you'd have my respect. I will play Battlefield Forge. I'll use that for colorless, two colorless. I'm going to cast Maze Mind Tome, and I'm paying the four. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Six mana Maze Mind Tome. <laughs> and I'm done. You see, your your treasure's going to good You know use. what? I treasure, I treasure that point. You should probably let me have a treasure this time. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let you have a treasure. I'll untap, okay, draw. Ooh, would Ooh. you like to pay two? Two? Can't do it. Okay. I want to play a six drop this turn. That's all right. I'm set up for another Mystic Remora. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. That's, that's what, what I'm doing happening? it for. <laughs> I'll play a Scalding Tarn. Mm -hmm. I'll crack it. Pay one life. Get a Island. Sunken Hollow comes into play. Untap, because I have two or more oh, basics. Oh, yeah. I will tap the Guild of Lotus for three red mana. I'll tap the Rogue's Passage, and I guess these two. Inferno Tide. What? No. <laughs> Fiendish like Duo. First strike. If a source would deal damage to any an opponent, it deals double that damage to that player instead. <laughs> and I will that will trigger on the stack 
when I cast it, yeah. Vile Smasher. So six damage is coming at someone. Twelve damage, right? No, because that's on cast. This is when it's oh, on Oh, you're, so, right. yep. you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Mm. So same numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. Shay again for <laughs> six damage. Sorry, it's random. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing Vile Smasher at CGB for two. <laughs> and if it connects, it will do four instead. That's pretty messed up. Ooh, what? Like that. Yeah, because of Fiendish Duo. Shay, you're going to draw that card. Because Ooh. I'm not paying four for Ooh. this path to exile, Ooh. exiling your Fiendish Duo. Exiling it, huh? I tapped wrong. But OK, cool. that will happen. I will draw. Don't know. Right. And I will get a basic, right? Yep. I'll get a another mountain. Then I'm done. All right. Okay. Blake? Enjoy your cards. Enjoy your cards. No, it's not a card. It's just Enjoy a treasure. Enjoy your treasure. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I use to pay taxes. That's true. So <laughs> it's trying to make you happy. Yeah, it, it is working. It, um, I'm just going to play a Requiem Angel. This is a 5 5 flyer. Whenever a no, another non spirit creature you control dies, put a 1 1 flyer on the battlefield. It's a spirit. Uh, pass the turn. Mm. Oh, I get one because she drew a card from that Remora. Forgot about that. Okay, so I will resolve the Runo trigger first. Okay, look at the top card of your library. You may, re whoa. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I will reveal the card because um, it has mana value six or greater. So this is Serpent of Yawning Depth. Um, Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents you control can't be blocked except by Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. Going now to the Mystic Remora trigger, I, I think I'm not gonna um, pay it because I, I got some stuff to pay for. Blake otherwise. is relieved. Yep. Yes. Then I will. We get to play Magic. But now CGB Raw has turn. five treasures and not Would you like for. to pay two? Oh, sorry. Runa will transform. Yep. Remember that. So now he is Crothis, Lord of the Deep. Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. All right, Blake. Yeah, I'm gonna pay two. Are you happy? Instead of <laughs> casting a Kraken. I know. Wow. Okay. All right. We're gonna opt to pay three for a Buried Alive. Mm -hmm. Search your library for up to three creature cards, put them into your graveyard, and then shuffle your library. Oh my. And then I will also bring down a counter. Which is a good thing for my thing in the ice. Oh yeah. Oh good yeah. <laughs> ben, Krothos is coming at you. Three in the air. You're done. Okay. You're dead. Down to thirty-six. It does have an attack trigger, but I'm not attacking with any other creatures, so I won't be able to use it this turn. Okay, I'm gonna go look for my creatures to put in the graveyard, and I'll pass the turn in the meantime. Yeah, on your end step, I'm just gonna draw a card with this Maze Mind Tome, making it the most expensive draw one I think I've ever done. <laughs> Eight mana total. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we untap and draw in the tradition of the channel. We'll play the Gemstone Caverns. <laughs> <laughs> just another colorless land that oh, I always draw man. in the top, you know, like 15 <laughs> cards, but never the open. I don't know why you play so many colorless lands that don't do anything. I, I, I believe in myself. Okay. I believe, myself. I believe in me. That's and your that's your win con I, game. Yeah, it's not really paying off that much, but someday it will. Okay. Believe you got to invest in yourself. Believe if you're going to be a content uh, mega bet one and best of one type. I'm going to play Tome of Legends, another artifact that I can use to draw some cards. And I'm going to also cast Micaeus the Lunark. Mm. So this, I'm going to cast it for one. So it's going to enter the battlefield with one plus one plus one counter. I can tap it to remove a plus one plus one counter and put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature I control. Or I can tap it to put another counter on Micaeus once it's no longer summoning sick. And then I'm done. I will tap one. Two mana, play a swift foot boots. Oh, did you want to pay for that smothering tab, by the way? <laughs> so, I'm such a jerk. <laughs> no. No, okay, cool. Ben's a curve game. Now I know why you atta <laughs> <laughs> attacked. Now I know why people are attacking Ben. <laughs> Trigger file smasher. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blake, take two. That's, that looks like a seven, actually. I know. I am enjoying this vile Oh, smasher. my gosh. You're just dodging vials, CGB. You're like, whoosh, whoosh. like Mana Crypt. 
Easy. I'll tap for mana and play my commander. And I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pass. So uh, the creatures I grabbed from Bury Alive are Tromocratus. Tromocratus. It's a Kraken. Um, Wonder, which is as long as it's in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control are flying. Nice. And Inkwell Leviathan. So no, no reanimate. All right. I will untap for turn, draw a card. Yo. <laughs> yo. I think I'm just going to go with the nice, smooth yo <laughs> from yo. now on. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, take your treasure. Thank you. I'm not exactly ruining the table with them. No, to be it's not, that's not as bad. It's the, it's the other ones. Harvester of Souls. This is a 5 5 death touch in case it wasn't big enough. And whenever another non token creature dies, not necessarily one that I control, I may draw a card. Ooh, hey, there you go. So you gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll remember. I don't forget to draw cards. Go ahead, that's Shay. Fair, that's fair. Draw for turn. Yo. Don't let Blake make, make you feel guilty. He didn't pay last turn. No, at this point, yeah. You probably have some sweet Kraken you want to play. Well, here's the thing. I'm a silly willy. And yeah. <laughs> well, silly and willy? <laughs> yes. Because oh. I thought I had six mana, but I only have five. And so, um, you know, classic miscount. Been there. Me too. I will pay. Then I'll pay two for Talisman of Dominance. You know, CGB. Get him. Yeah. It's coming. Get him. Three in your direction. Yeah. Those the, are the 36 In game. the air. Uh, yep, I'll take it. Okay, then I'm gonna pass. All right, on uh, end step, Good let's question. draw a card with Maze Mind Tome. I'll take it up to counter number two. I got his attention. <laughs> and I'm also gonna draw with my Tome of Legends, removing the counter. All right, we're gonna play an Ancient Tomb. I can tap it for two mana, but I have to uh. take two damage if I do that. I'm gonna use Red and my Ancient Tomb. I'm going to play a Glittering Stockpile, which is a new Capenna Mana Rock. I can tap this for a red to put a stash counter on it, or I can sacrifice Glittering Stockpile by tapping it and add X mana of any one color, where X is the number of stash counters on Glittering Stockpile. I think I'm fine. I think I'm just going to pass. All right, at your end step, I will tap the Guild Lotus to pay for Brash Taunter's ability to tap it to fight Blake's Harvester of Souls. Give me your soul. Which is five damage, and that damage will go right to Blake's face. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's target opponent. You can't target my creatures. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Mm. It would okay. be, because I would have killed his angel. So there. you just just take five in the face, stop hitting yourself. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty mean. That's pretty, that's, that's okay, something. Okay, okay, okay. I'll untap, go to my turn. That's where I'll back up. You don't know what could happen. Ooh. Yeah. I'll tap this swamp to play a soul ring. Someone's gonna did take pay, one damage. Did you pay two to the smothering time? Yo. Yo, as they say. Yo. Yo? Yo? Yo, yo. Ma. Two. I will not, because I just don't like figuring out if I want to or not. Oh my <laughs> god, that's your reason. Good reason. Good reason. Oh my god. I do the same team. thing. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. This is a true uh, gamer. Math, I've is, got for, math well, is for opponents. I've got One's limited, coming at someone. Limited mental space, and I'm not spending it on whether or not to pay for your smothering time. Just whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Blake, take one from this whole ring. Then you're pissing me off this game. <laughs> Wait, I will move to combat. I'll tap four. No, like this, actually. Four. Four. And the Rogue's Passage to make Obeka unblockable. What? Because I'm not ending the turn this turn. I'm going to swing her at Blake for three. On the ground, unblockable. <laughs> me? <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> sure, do, dude. Man? I don't know. <laughs> he just bonks me for like five with the Brash Donner. And then yep. I'll... Five commander damage as well. Then I'll pay... Or three commander damage. Yep. We just track those on D20s now to not crowd up the life counter. We'll tell, you, we'll tell you guys if it gets close. Pay one to equip the Swift of Boots to Obeka. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but whatever. 
and then I'll pay. Sometimes you're going to combat and you don't want to wear your best boots through the muck and the mire of the Rogue's Passage. <laughs> so it's so gross crazy. down there. Fair enough. It's just not great. <laughs> All right, I will untap. I will draw for turn. Yo. Oh, yeah. Do no, you stupid yo. Rati, yo. <laughs> Two, three, four. You know what, CGB? Yo. Put your stupid treasures where they belong. Which is not on my battlefield, baby. Okay. I will play a Doom Traveler. This is an old classic. It's a one mana one one that when it dies, I put a one one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. And then I'll create a black mana and I will cast Village Rites targeting my Doom Traveler. As an additional cast to sacrifice the spell. I guess not targeting, but. Resolves. Cool. So we're going to put some triggers on the stack. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to put two spirits out, and then CGB, you pay three life or Doom Traveler goes back in my hand. So we're going to start with this. I'll pay you the three. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you target me? Of all yeah, the people, right. I'm the most likely to pay because you keep paying for my stuff. I'm a stupid card. Yo. He loves just targeting you. Draw your, get your Yo. stupid <laughs> treasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. I guess they belong in the battlefield now. I'll make two spirits. Uh huh. I'm gonna use my friendly little token. <laughs> <laughs> and mm. another spirit. What inspired that token? Yeah. A basketball. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw two cards with village rights. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. You got two mana. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Four, yo. A Take your treasure. Life for me. I will then play a land for turn. Bajukabog targeting Shay's graveyard. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ouch! Buried alive. And then I will move to combat. C -c -c combat and attack. Shay for five. Okay, I'll take five. No blocks. Hmm. Well, wait. Actually, is it flying? Oh, it's nope. death touch. It's death touch though. Yeah, I'll take. Go ahead, Cher. <laughs> it's time to do something. Big Kraken time. We're tapping six for a Demon Kraken. Whoa. Oh, Gyruda. Gyruda. Yes. It's, uh, what is that, Gigan? Gigan. Gigan. Cyberclaw Terry. What is Godzilla movies? <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know that guy. <laughs> uh huh. Laser uh -huh. Beam. We were we were bros That's in college. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> you and Guy Gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, we nice. go way back. <laughs> He's my favorite villain from that. Hell yeah. Nice. yeah. When um, Gairuda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among them onto the battlefield under your control. Okay, guys. Let's see what top four. Top think? four. Oh, 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 you got a good one from me. I got... I got nothing. Nothing with an even mana cost. I only got a really good card. Arcanus the Omnipotent. Oh my god. She gets to mill herself too. Right, yep. yeah, yeah. So oh, that's, a, that's right. a possibility okay. for you. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So okay. no creatures. Yeah. All right, your choices. I mean, whatever it's that is. It's a good is. one. Arcane tap is a taps for ancestral yeah. recall. Mm. Tap draw three is pretty good. Tap draw three. Yeah. And yeah. two and blue blue return it to owner's hand. I don't yeah. think you want to do that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. I would have loved that. Anyway. Yeah. That wow. will be my selection. Time to die. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what? Just send that right there. Just in case you want to do anything funny. <laughs> just a vaguely threatening card on the ground on the battlefield. It's her face down. down. Just just face around, down. just so she sees it. Just so oh, she sees it. This is manipulation, Shay. Yes. I think yeah. you should slap manipulation in the face. I yeah, would I really agree. love to, but she, she would love to. She can't even do it. I'm doing it when she can't attack me. So yeah, I actually can't attack him. All right, we'll bounce it back to Ben this time around. So it'll be three in the air, Ben. Okay. Commander Dan. I will go down three to thirty-three, and I'll be at six commander damage. Then, uh, then I will pass. End step, glittering stockpile. We're gonna put a counter on this stash counter for later, 
And me is my tome. We're going to go to level three here and draw a card. All right, I'm going to tap the glittering stockpile, go to two counters, uh, add a colorless and a white. And I'm going to go for a Valakut Awakening. So this lets mm. me put any number of cards from my hand on the bottom of my library and then draw that many plus one. I don't think I've played this on the show before. No, it's a, a good one. Decks. I'm going to put down all but one. Is it at random or it's any order? Or, no, I'm going to keep another one. We're going to put three down. All right, three go to the bottom, and I draw four. One, two, three, and four. All right, I guess we're going to keep going for the ride. I'm going to take two from my ancient tomb, and I'm going to try to cast Showdown of the Skulls. So this is a saga. Exile top four of my library until the end of my next turn. I may play those cards, and then chapters two and three are the same, a plus one, plus one counter on a creature, and whenever I cast a spell. All right, one, Stoneforge Mystic, two is Plains, hmm. three is Mountain, and four is Boros Reckoner. Ugh. I'm going to play the Mountain as my land for turn. All right, I'm going to cast the Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to leave these over here in exile till the end of my next turn. But I'm casting Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to search my library for an equipment card. Uh, put it into my hand. Spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, to go with my commander, it's basically always Basilisk Collar in this deck. You grab Cauldron Company, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, to the top rope. All right, so Collar in the hand. I'm going to use a Colorless Mana to play Basilisk Collar. I'm going to use five treasures, go down to four total, to cast my commander, Archangel Abyssin. Enters the battlefield, trigger, everything gains indestructible. Uh, on that trigger. Yes. While it's on the set. Sure. I will tap four, because I have to tap three. Something. I'm going to fight the Garuda. Mm -hmm. Ooh. For six damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's going to blink. Deal it to CGD's face. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'll take six. I will sack two more treasures to put the collar on Archangel Abyssin. I will tap Micaeus the Lunarch and remove a plus one plus one counter from mm, it to nice. put counters on all my other creatures. Oh boy. This is going to kill Micaeus the Lunarch and trigger Archangel Abyssin to flip on Ben's upkeep. All right. Uh, by the way, my commander entering puts a counter on my Tome of Legends for a future card draw. And I am done. Ben, trigger on the stack on your upkeep. Go. I will untap. I will pay three with the Guild of Lotus to tap the Brash Taunter to fight the Garuda again. <laughs> this Garuda, it's a fighter. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he likes fighting. Does it go into my face? It is, yes. Another six? Another six. Okay. And then also uh, at my upkeep, I will tap Obeka to end <gasps> my own turn. You're ending the turn with this trigger on the stack? Yes. Nice. And then it will pass to play. Uh, no! In response to you, you going, time walked yourself? Hold on. In response to you going to end your turn, I'm going to Infernal Grasp uh, Crawfus. Whoa. Where'd that come from? I don't want more Garudas coming out. Okay. Don't forget to lose two life. Oh, I will. Wait, wait. What's up? This is, is your commander, Shane? Yeah. yeah. What is happening on this upkeep? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm assuming you want to keep your commander. Uh. I, I, I feel like I want to see more sea creatures. <laughs> he, oh, mm. sure. oh, you've got a fan. <laughs> I, I like the sea creatures. Kraken. I like the guy it makes sense. It's helping me out. We've I'm going to tap two blue and counter spell Blake's spell. Oh my Dude. gosh. <laughs> sure. That's fine. <laughs> and then my when? turn will end and the stack will resolve. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. I guess my plan fails. Um, by the way, <laughs> yo. 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 <laughs> yeah, make a treasure. Thank you. Might need them. I'm, I'm a little worried now that I'm at a very low life total. 
Oh, I did cast my first spell that turn. Oh, yes, he yes. did. Oh, we got a random trigger to resolve. Yeah. Go, Go for it. Two damage or oh, something. Yeah. Jay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the person, the person <laughs> who used a counter to defend. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm. What is going on? Wow. <laughs> it's random. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm going to pay four for a Hedron Archive. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm popping off now. And then I guess I'll just pay five for a Black Market. What's that do? It's the one that whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on Black Market at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, add black from each charge counter to my mana pool. Any creature? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. I'll draw. Yo. Yo. I will not be paying. Thank you. Play a swamp. We will pay six for Serpent of Yawning Depths. Um, this is the one where Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents you control can't be blocked except by Krakens, yeah, Leviathans. I did, yeah. All right, big scaries. Big yeah. scaries. Okay. Yeah, um, so moving to combat. So I will send six to Blake and three to CGP Trigger Runo. Um, so then I will create two copies of Gigon. All right, so two Gigon copies and you're, I assume, going to keep the one that's attacking. So yes. I guess we resolve two Gigon triggers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight, no, eight. Uh, mill four. Let's mill four. Four and then letter pick choose. One, right? yeah. Yep. Mill four, letter choose, then mill four, letter choose. I got a suture priest for you. I have no hits for you. Is it only of the ones we milled? Yes. Mm -hmm. It has to be even mana cost. Ben, if this is another good card, I'm going to lose my it, marbles in it two It is seconds. another good card. It's Vela the Nightclad. It gets all your creatures intimidate. You mill as well, right, Shay? Oh, yes. Thank you. I just am so caught up in the excitement. You're already unblockable. I don't think. Yeah, it's yeah, that doesn't change much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll stick with the Krakens. There you go. Thank you. There you go. And we do it again. And again. I think we're gonna do layers of unblockable. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick uh, the Deep Channel Mentor. Okay. Oh, Thank you. Yep. Layers of unblockable achieved. <laughs> yeah. All right, so combat damage? Combat damage. I will take six. I will take three more commander. I'm up to six commander from Shay. And yeah, I think that's everything. I'll pass. All right, on your end step, I'm going to use two treasures to activate Maze Mind Tome. I'm going to gain four life because it's the last counter, so it's going to exile and I draw a card. Exile? Yeah, uh, yeah it does exile. Because why wouldn't it? You can't just get <laughs> yeah. that back. That'd be too much value. That's like 10 mana to draw four cards yeah. and gain four life. And also still on end step, I think I'm going to pay for this Tome of Legends and draw a card. All right, move to my turn. Untap all these toys, draw, tick showdown of the Scalds. So now I have to remember that every spell I cast, I put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature. I've got these in exile to cast from showdown last turn. So let's play this planes before I forget. Nice. And let's play Boros Reckoner, which says that whenever it is dealt damage, it can deal that much damage to target creature or player, and it can gain first strike for a hybrid red-white. Mm. And that triggers the showdown. So um, I guess plus one, plus one counter for Archangel Avacyn. I'm going to play the yeah, goodest go. doggo, selfless savior. Uh, plus one, plus one counter over here on Avacyn. This can sack to give a creature indestructible. Hmm. I'm going to go with uh, red mana on the stockpile. And I'm going to cast Jessica's Will. I believe she has like six cards. You want How one mana? Want? I have seven. Seven. All right, so I'm going to target Shay with the Jessica's Will, which means I make seven red mana and exile my top three, and I may play them this turn. I'm going to use the Showdown's trigger to buff Avacyn. Okay. So I get six red, seven red, sorry, and I exile top three. Pathway, Mind Stone, Alcide of Life's Bounty. All right, um, white mana, Alcide of Life's Bounty. 
plus one plus one counter on Archangel Avacyn. Uh, red, or uh, we'll go with Ancient Tomb. Two damage. Mind Stone. Plus one plus one counter on Archangel Avacyn. It's going to be a chunky mm. angel. Currently a 10 10 Flying Vigilance Death Touch Lifelink. <laughs> Sacrifice Selfless Savior, indestructible to Boros Reckoner. Mm. Trigger Archangel Avacyn. It will transform on the next turn's upkeep. One red for Alseed of Life's Bounty. Protection from red to Archangel Avacyn. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play a new card I've never <laughs> played before. But I wonder I'm... what's about to get played. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice this. Uh, for a white Red. mana. Oh. Yep, one white mana. And that's an artifact going to a graveyard. I'm scared. I'm going to use one red mana, sacrifice Mindstone, and draw a card. That's another artifact going to a graveyard. Draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast this Structural Assault card. It says this. destroy all artifacts. Then Structural Assault deals damage to each creature equal to the number of artifacts that were put into graveyards from the battlefield this turn. So destroy all artifacts. Okay. And then equal to the <laughs> number that was put into the graveyard, that gets dealt to all creatures. By the way, plus one, plus one counter. And I'm going to put it on Avacyn. I don't think I want that to happen. Avacyn's the one with protection from red. You're going to respond? I'll pay one for a swan song. Okay. Um, so. so it counters target enchantment instant or sorcery. Its controller creates a 2-2 two -two blue bird creature token with flying. Oh, good. I, I did all that hoping I would have a bird at the end of it. <laughs> Do you have the bird token? <laughs> no, but I can draw one. Yeah, yeah. Will you draw me a bird token? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The swan song will trigger the thing in the ice. Down to down one. Down to one. Okay. All right. I still have two red in my mana pool then. After my structural assault failed. And I guess it's not going to do anything. So move to combat. Shay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my, my big play has been thwarted. Yes. I, that's a lot of Krakens to make angry at me. <laughs> this is true. And they're not blockable. This is also true. And there's a thing in the ice? And when that flips, it bounces, oh, oh non-horrors, right. mm -hmm. non-horrors. Okay, so it would actually bounce your Krakens. Yeah. Yes. So Everything but the commander. Careful. Yes. Um, no, yeah, no. Shay. Mm-hmm. 11, Flying Vigilance, Commander, trigger Tome of Legends when I attack. In response, I'm gonna tap and draw three cards. <laughs> okay, hey, Shay. What? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, <laughs> no, no. All right, that's no. three treasures. I'll take 11. 11 commander, and I gain 11. Oh, you had two creatures die. So Black Market gets two counters. Uh, yeah, there was the Alcy of Life's Bounty, and there and was the, a Selfless Savior. The Doggo. Yep. All right, I am also going to go ahead and activate Tome of Legends now. Who knows? Might be, might be good. Was it good? It was fan freaking tastic. Happy for you. Um. All right, <laughs> Ben, it's your turn. Trigger on the stack. Archangel Avison. Yeah, that's fine. It, I will. This resolves. It will resolve. You sure? Yeah. This is three damage to all creatures and players. It's yeah, death so touch damage. Fun. So everything that it touches is going to die. And it has lifelink. So I'm going to gain three life for every creature and each player. Seems so good. First, can we count the creatures that are taking this damage? One, two, uh, three. Count your own. Just count your own. I've got three. I've got five. So that's eight. Nine, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. I have got... seven total. One is Ben, so. 18. OK, so that's 18. 19, 20, 21. So 21 times 3 is 63, 63 life. And You're all the creatures impacted are going to die. You're Unless they have 90. indestructible. Unless they're indestructible. So Athreo survives. I will get two counters on this when those die. We'll go to my triggers. I'm going to lose four creatures. I will draw 
Oh wait, and I will draw two cards off of your, your two die. Mm -hmm. So I'll draw two cards. I then will have four creatures die. However, these will just straight up die. These two will die. This one will make a 1-1 one, one when it dies. It was... And Harvester of Souls will let me draw four cards. Um, I do have a Brash Tonner, sorry. Three damage is a target opponent. Oh, go ahead and do that. Right. I'll do three damage from it's Brash Shay. Tonner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it to the CGB. All right, three damage to me. Yeah. From the okay. Well, I'm gonna deal three damage from my Boros Reckoner to you, Ben. <laughs> oh, rough. That's messed up. <laughs> Alright, and then I have four triggers on the stack targeting CGB. Would you like to return any of these to my hand or pay three life for each of them? So that depends. How many cards did you draw? I have drawn four, five, six so far. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Make some treasures, bro. <laughs> And you targeted me? With all four. Obviously, you're not going to pay the life for these. I'm not paying life for those tokens. I got standards. <laughs> all right. But I'm, I'll pay it for the other two. I, I'm down with those staying in the graveyard. Let's go to the bin. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK. And then my trigger, and I get four counters on this, and then I will pass to Shay for some triggers as well. OK, so this is tapped. Can't do anything. It will die. I'll draw a card. You get a treasure. Ding. Thing in the ice will die. Yo. Yo. Commander will die. Yo. Yo. <laughs> um, Gigon will die. Yo. Yo, where is my stupid re uh, reliquary tower? <laughs> Serpent of the Yawning Depths will die. I'm just hoping he doesn't have Rise from the Dark Realms. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Reservoir Kraken will die. Yo. Yo. <laughs> and Deep Channel Mentor will die. Yo. The Yo Brothers. And everybody took three. Oh. All right, 16 treasures over here. Let's and go. And then which of your creatures died? Hmm? How many creatures did you have die? Uh, yeah, I had a Bird Token, a Boros Reckoner, and a Stoneforge Mystic. Um, yo, yo, yo. All right, 19. <laughs> Oh, wait, can I draw now? I mean, it is your upkeep. Drawing results. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will draw. I'll tap my swamp and a mountain, no, an island for a sundial of the infinite. For one and tap, I can end the turn. Activate this only during your turn. Blake, are you shuffling your hand like it's a deck? It's basically a deck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here I like to go. see random cards when I look at my hand. Here we go. Tap this for blue. Mountain. Mountain. Swamp to play my commander. I'll tap one to equip the Swiffa boots. Actually, yeah, yeah, to Obeka. I will swing Obeka. <laughs> uh, uh, Thanks. I guess it's Blake. Perfect. <laughs> Three commander, Blake. <laughs> Perfect. Then I'll pass. All right. We're going to untap. We're going to upkeep. And I'm going to draw. Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to make 17 black mana. Almost as many as I have treasures. <laughs> it's messed up, bro. It is. I'm going to play Phyrexian Tower. And let's just start casting some stuff, shall we? I mean, you better. I'm, I'm gonna. Going to die. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna spend 14 or three of it for a Bastion of Remembrance. <laughs> you spent 14 nope. on that Bastion. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah, make it's a. Gone. It's Six, gone. It was expensive. That's gonna, <laughs> gonna make that. Your basketball's mm -hmm. a little scarred. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna play an Ornithopter of Paradise. Okay. Going to 12. I'm gonna find the spin down because this is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna call. I'm then going to go one, two, three, to cast a Ministrant of Obligation. This is a 2-1 that dies into two 1-1 one, one flyers. Uh-huh. I will then go to nine and tap another white to play Cruel Celebrant. And then I'm going to go to six and tap a Buried Ruin. 
And I'm gonna play a Vindictive Vampire, which is another version of that. Another Cruel Celebrant effect. Um, yep, Ambassador Remembrance effect. I'm gonna go to one mana to play an Ogre Slumlord. <laughs> the heck is that? <laughs> Whenever another non-token creature dies, you may create a 1-1 one, one black rat and it gives rats death touch what that I control. Have, what would happen to this guy if somebody played a Dothy Voidwalker? Like, oh, death <laughs> I would cry every time. Okay. Okay, I will go down to zero floating and pay two for little ash nods. Oh, yeah. If oh, everyone's, boy. If everyone's cool with what's been going on thus far. Oh, so cool. Mm. Yes. Cool. I will then pay three for a Hollowed Spirit Keeper. This is a 3-2 Vigilance, and when it dies, I create X-1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying, where X is the number of creature cards in my graveyard. So when it dies, I'll make 10 one ones. I'm going to sacrifice my... <laughs> nice. Nice. That's going to make two... <laughs> Black mana. I'm just trying to throw him. It's our, it's our, it's our line, guys. We fun. gotta throw him. All right, everyone's <laughs> gonna lose three life, and I'm gonna gain three life. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> it wasn't a question. Okay. And then I will target CGB. Would you like this to come back to my hand, or would you like to pay three life? What is that? It's a one-one token. A token? <laughs> yeah. I mean, as great as that art is, no, I'm not paying. <laughs> I respect that. Okay, I will then sacrifice. Um, Ornithopter of Paradise to Ashnod's Altar to create two mana. So I have two black and two colorless mana floating. Uh, everyone's going to take three and I'm going to gain three. And I will spend that four mana on a Sifter of Skulls. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a 1-1 one, one Eldrazi Scion onto the battlefield. I will then sacrifice two Ashnod's Altar, my Ministrant of Abligation. Uh -huh. Would you like to pay three life or return this to my hand? Yep, I'm paying the three. Okay, I'm going to make two one ones. Everyone's going to take three. I don't know why three. he keeps targeting me, but okay. What do you mean you're at 72? Boop, boop, no, I mean if you target someone else, you'll get it back. Oh, that's actually a fair enough point. I just don't have the mana to pay. Hey, 69. Nice. Dead. And I'm Bye, dead. <laughs> okay, sorry. Bye. I, didn't I, want to. I will avenge you. <laughs> oh, ben, thanks, you're not going to avenge you. Once dead. more. I hope you do, Ben. Um, I also get yes. a one one oh, rat. Thanks. And a 1-1 one, one Eldrazi Scion. It's returned. And this will go to 20. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice all four of these to do 12 to everybody, and I'm going to gain 12. All right, now I will sacrifice the Hollow Spirit Keeper to Ashenod's Altar. Everyone's going to take three. And I'm going to gain three. And this is going to make... 13 1 1 flyers, and it's going to make one rat and one sifter of skulls. I'm going to sacrifice all 13 of these to Ashnod's altar, dealing 39 to everybody. <laughs> Scary. I tried. <laughs> yes. All right, I will then sacrifice these two for another six. Then I will sacrifice. Ogre Slumlord, uh, pay three life or it comes back to my hand. You don't have any colored mana in your mana pool? No. And no way um, to make any. Okay. Are there other triggers on the stack because you sacrificed it? Yep. These three, you'll take three and I'll gain three. All right. So you take three. One, two, three. I'll make a one, one Eldrazi Scion and then I'm going to sacrifice both of these to do six. You got it, man. <laughs> All right. Whoa. That was crazy. Yeah, Whoa. That was, that was Did not right expect after a that. Board war, too. Black market, man. Yeah. Card's good. Jeez. All right. All right. <laughs> that was it. Good job. Oh, gee. All right. Uh, so, card of the game, sponsored by CoolStuffing.com. Promo code CGB5. Blake is our champion. I have a feeling I know what he's going to do, but we're going to go around the table. My card of the game, yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That card's so good. <laughs> Even though I flooded out near the end and it was kind of a, a sad uh, boot out the door, the Smothering Tithe generated so much mana. And actually, um, I'm personally proud of this because I've played a lot of games of Commander. I've seen a lot of Smothering Tithes. I think most people, including yourself, would agree that Smothering Tithe is annoying. <laughs> but I think 
Maybe for some, maybe not to everybody, but maybe for some, I proved in this particular game that with a little creativity and just a little bit of a playful attitude, you can make it a little more fun. Yeah. Yo. 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 <laughs> well, did you, how many lands do you draw off the Valakut Awakening? The Valakut Awakening? Yeah. Um, it had to have been like at least a couple. I don't think there were many. I think it was only one off the Valakut Awakening. Okay. It was the Tome of Legends, the oh, Maze Mind. Oh, the Maze tome Mind. Just kept that, hitting lands. Oh, yeah. Like, um, that was a heartbreak. So, yeah, I had set, in, at the end of the game, I had an Ephemerate and six lands in hand. So it's the way it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Ben, card of the game. Well, I got this right out on turn three, and it just did a lot of early damage and oh, Vile yeah. Smasher, the Fierce. You're, you're right. It made Blake's job so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. My card of the game was Black Market. It created just an absurd amount of mana because of the board wipe, allowing me to play out just a ton of cards and go from basically no board to I won the game, which was not what I was expecting. So seemed like it was pretty good, and I love this card a lot. Shay. Yeah, my card of the game was Gygon, nice. Cyberclaw, Terror. Um, yeah, this was just a lot of fun in combat um, to be able to make copies of and yeah. Yeah, play cards. I ended up playing my own cards, but you know, it got me there faster. Got more Krakens out, more sea creatures out, which I was really excited about. I know it made Blake jealous that you got basically an ancestral recall on Dude! The <laughs> oh, yeah. You hit Arcanus the Omnipotent, and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why you had to die, apparently. Uh, yes, apparently. All right, I, I, I am always fond of a good Godzilla oh, yeah. skin card for my Coria. I really like those. All right, guys, uh, another epic game of the worst possible. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. Blake is your champion, so make sure your comments tug at his heartstrings. Thank you for watching this video. As always, we'll see you in the next video. You're cool. <laughs>